Hi guys, this is Resin Bell. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a two-tiered tray, resin tray, with these silicone cake molds. Um, hopefully I'll figure out a way to make a stand in between. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you can find all of my resin supplies in a link in the description box below if you're interested in that. And we'll get into this in just a moment. Okay guys, so here's my plan. I have these two cake molds and they are a little bit smaller than each other. So this will be the top tier. And this is a an idea, we'll see if it works out, uh, for the um, support for the top tier. It's just a cup and then I've taken a piece of this foam and wrapped it with um, just some packing tape and then hot glued it down into the bottom of the cup. So I can pour my resin around here and I have sprayed the life out of this with some uh, silicone mold release spray. You can get this on Amazon. It is in my um, resin links in the description box below. So I'm hoping that the fact that this is, um, you know, has some give to it, I will be able to get it out of the center. But we'll see. <laughs> this is why this is a resin experiment. Um, also, I'm going to be doing these in kind of a um, geode style even though they're round um, trays so hopefully this will turn out so I'm thinking some uh, pretty uh, turquoises some dark turquoise light turquoise there's a little bit of um, mica powder so I'll be using acrylic paints in this I'll be doing a kind of a pearl white as well as a uh, 24 karat gold and then I also have some um, gold to put in some clear to make some sparkle. And then I'm thinking about doing a, um, a crystal, a large crystal for the center of the top one. We'll see how that turns out. So lots of different parts and pieces. So hopefully I can get this figured out <laughs> and make this work. So thanks for watching. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to mix all these different things up and uh, I will come back after I've got all my colors ready. up some more resin and I'm ready to pour into this one. Hopefully this will work out. If not, I've wasted some resin. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Hopefully it's not too late, but you know, this is resin experiment, so we're going to try it out anyway. I want to put some more resin in here. We'll put some more in this one. I think I want to mix up a little bit more of the darker paint in this one. 
So I'm gonna put a little drop. Drop in there. Add a little bit more mica. Let's get it darker. drop of acrylic paint. Go around this edge. I think the last thing, a little bit more through here, more in the center, because why not? And then I'm just going to add a few little bit, tiny little drizzle right around the bottom of this. All right, I think I'm going to let that sit and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Hopefully, um, I had to mix a different kind of resin, so I had to... Uh, amazing clear cast to begin with and then I ran out and so then I switched over to Sophie and Toffee three to one so you know I don't know how it's gonna go <laughs> mixing resins but you know like I said this is resin experiments so we're gonna see how this works out I know the um, Sophie and Toffee epoxy the three to one epoxy is usually takes longer to cure so it may be a couple of days before I could check this but uh, we're gonna let it set and we'll see what happens Okay, guys, it's the next day, and I am so ready to demold these. I am just really hopeful that the top looks as good as the bottom does, because I love the way this looks. It looks so cool. Oh, I love it. Love how it kind of dispersed and kind of went out on its own, and uh, hopefully the top looks cool, too. <laughs> it's just one of those things. And then this part is still just a little bit... Uh, pliable but I think it's probably ready so um, I didn't have any leaks that seemed to work out pretty well uh, this part seems to want to release pretty easily so you know I don't know how how well that's gonna work but we're gonna try that too so let's uh, start with one of these this is just so cool and you can see um, on the bottom here you can kind of see ripples and I think that's where I put in the different kind of resin because I had a Lumilite clear cast in first, and then I used uh, Sophie and Toffee at the end. But the Lumilite had kind of cured a little bit, so that could be part of it there. But um, I kind of like the way it looks. It gives it kind of a rock texture. Um, but uh, like I said, that's probably that's going to be the bottom. But uh, I think it's cured enough. We can pop it out. It might still be a little pliable, but I can't wait. I can't wait anymore. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, I have to say I'm not as happy with the bottom. <laughs> well, with what is the top. Um, I like the bottom a lot better, so I think I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I think that's going to be the top. And I, like I said, I kind of like that kind of ripple look because it makes it look more like it's rock, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I might go with that. I don't like that at all. Obviously the white sank and, uh, yeah, it looks kind of wild, weird, but I, I really like the top, so I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, this one I expect probably will turn out about the same, but I do like the top of it here. It looks pretty neat. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, about the same. That's okay, because I really like the top as well. 
Now this one had had the I had poured some around the edges because it was kind of uh, not full to the sides. I just ran out of resin. I didn't have enough, but I still like the way that looks, and it's got a tiny little air bubble right here trying to pop up, but that's okay. I still think it's awesome. I may uh, I may do a clear coat like a a uh, top coat on there uh, just to see, you know kind of smooth it out a little bit, but I really like how that turned out. I mean, look how cool that looks. I do really like that. So the top of these is ready and it's looking pretty good no issues there so on the back I don't know if I showed you guys but I had uh, added some masking tape just to just in case there were any drips if there's any drips or anything the masking tape just peels right off with your drips on it so see there's one right there Peels right off handy handy thing for doing doming on larger pieces so, got that one ready don't need that anymore and this one as well I've gone in a different direction because the little cup thing that I was using for the raise, uh, riser centerpiece was not looking too good and it was taking up too much space and covering too much of my design. So I found these on Amazon. You can get a set of three for like, I don't know, a little over $7, I think, almost $8. Um, but uh, these are three tier and I've only got two tiers, so I'm only going to be using part of this. Very easy to use, just the two just the two, so, so normally you would have your uh, three different parts here. So you're just going to leave one out and have two tiers, and then there's a screw that goes in the bottom of the bottom one. So now I've got to uh, drill some holes, and then I can put this together. Okay, so we've got our holes drilled through and we're ready to put these together. So this one is the bottom. It has these little foam washers that come with it. Stick that in there. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave the washer out on that because I don't want it to be too tall on the top or on the bottom. And we'll put the washer on there. We're going to screw our centerpiece in. Put our washer on there. Put that one on. And another washer there. And now we can screw our top piece on. OK, 
Okay, and now we have our nice little stand here. It's really cute. I love it. I love that the gold matches the gold in the resin pour very well. And uh, since I didn't cover up that whole area, I can see all the designs that we made. I absolutely love that. That is so cute. It almost looks, it almost looks like a map of the world <laughs> if you look at it right. <laughs> so very cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Super cute. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check out the links in the description box below for savings uh, from different websites. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.